Good morning, guys. Welcome back. It is Tuesday, the 16th of June. Uh, we are here, luckily, with the very first time on the demo team today, uh, Coach JB, or Mr. Justin Benjamin, as, as the lawyer, law fraternity know him. Um, guys, today we're going to be working through a fantastic core workout. Um, this one is called Forrest Gump. Um, no need to figure out how we got there. Um, but today, we're gonna go straight over to JB and we're gonna talk about that warm up so that we are ready to smash this core workout with you guys. All right, so first movement for today, guys, on the warm up side, we're doing three rounds of this in 30 seconds at each station. Samson lunges is where Justin is gonna start today. So guys, we're gonna interlink those fingers, pull the arms back as we lunge forward. He can hang out for a second or two at the bottom. And he's gonna do three good reps for us there. Guys, this is gonna help stretch out those hip flexors as you move through these. From there, guys, he's going into a sit-up to a hamstring stretch. Guys, you can hang out for two or three seconds um, as you get down to the toes. We're doing like a butterfly sit-up, but then keeping the legs straight and then reaching it down to the toes, exactly like Justin is doing. All right, from there, guys, next movement in our warm is 30 seconds of good quality air squats. And from there, guys, we're moving on to push-ups. So guys, on your push-up, make sure you tuck your elbows in nice and close to you. We want your chest to touch the ground. We want to try and keep those hips and thighs off the ground at all times. Good job. Guys, on the mobility side for today, we've got two things we're going to work through. The first one is going to be a couch stretch. So you're going to head over to the wall and get that knee up against the wall, guys. Um, here, we want to try and get Justin to uh, tilt his pelvis underneath him. Instead of driving his hips forward, he's gonna try and tuck that pelvis underneath. And if he's stretching his left hip flex out, he's gonna squeeze his left glute to intensify that stretch. All right, once he's held out there for about 30 or 40 seconds, guys, we're going to a cobra stretch. It's gonna help stretch out the abdominals as well as some work on the lower back. Guys, if this stretch that Justin's doing at the moment is a little bit too intense for you, you can go down onto your forearms. Do the same thing, posture up nice and high. And once you have done three rounds, 30 seconds at each of those movements, you are done with your warm up. All right, guys, so like we said, we've got this great core workout for you called Forest Gump. We've got four different movements that we're working through today. All of these relate to different areas in that trunk region. All right, we're getting closer to the trees. Can you see the forest for the trees? We're getting closer to that, and we're gonna be working through those movements with Justin again. All core stuff, here we go. So first one for you guys is going to be mountain climbers. Okay, Justin's gonna do a knee to elbow movement. And he's doing 25 reps here, guys. All right, once he's done that, he's going into 15 sit-ups or tuck-ups. We've worked through a butterfly sit-up already, but we'll show you one more time. Guys, now we're just gonna have the soles of the feet pressed together. We're gonna to reach down to those toes, make sure you touch uh, the floor behind you. And guys, make sure your shoulders finish in front of your hips. So we sit all the way up nice and high. All right, into tuck-ups from there, the second option. This is obviously a little bit tougher, guys, a little bit more challenging on those abdominals. JB's extending really nicely into a hollow position and then pulling back as he tucks chest to knees. Good, right, from there, guys, deadlifts. Obviously, you have a barbell, guys, you can use a barbell for this. Um, otherwise, we're gonna be using our kettlebell or dumbbell. Justin's gonna show us what the, the, the kettlebell deadlift looks like today. Guys, we want a nice neutral spine position. He's gonna keep his eyes neutral as well. Making sure there's a nice bend into the knees and squeezing those glutes as he stands up tall. All right, 15 reps like that, guys. And then we're going into our walkouts. So you can choose here today either wall walks, which is a more difficult movement, which Justin will demonstrate for us first, or walkouts, which we'll do second. So first of all, he's onto the wall. Guys, key factors here. What we're looking for is we're going to make sure that Justin, number one, he's going to go into a push-up position. Now lock his arms out tight, and they're going to stay locked out the whole time. He's going to start to walk his feet up the wall, but maintaining a hollow position so his hips are up high so that we don't get that arch or don't get that hip extension to his lower back. So as he shuffles up, those hips stay nice and high. He's gonna walk all the way up, flat against the wall, and he's gonna come back down. Guys, if you can't do this as well as Justin, um, that's completely understandable, because he's fantastic at this. Um, but guys, if you can't do that as well, you can just go as high up the wall as you feel comfortable, and then you can come back down. All right, guys, if that's tough for you, you can do walkouts. Walking the hands straight out, flat onto the floor, through a good quality push-up, and back up. Try to keep those legs pretty straight here, guys. And if you can do it like Justin, you look pretty gymnastic-y. Great to have you with us just this morning. Thank you very much, buddy. Guys, Tuesday, great workout here. Get the trunk, get the core done. We'll see you guys tomorrow for another great workout.